I'm about to leave for like my first ever like brand, not trip, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Like event. Um, one of my friends works for Midwest Photo in Columbus and they're having like a little event for their Sony vlogging cameras at the local like apple farm. So we're going apple picking and I'm very excited. This is the first time I've straightened my hair in years and then I promptly pulled it up because I was like, there's just like too much going on. My hair is at the weirdest length right now. It's like at my shoulder but not like cute at my shoulder and it's also not like past my shoulder. It's just in the worst spot and I genuinely can't stand it and I don't know if I want to cut it or if I want to grow it out and I'm also kind of letting the color like do its thing. I don't know if I like these pieces. I kind of feel like I should tuck them back. I feel like that feels better. I don't know. I'm just like not feeling myself today. I literally tried on so many different outfits. I thought I knew what I was going to wear, put it on, literally never felt worse. Um, and now I'm wearing an outfit that I feel like I've worn too many times recently and it's the best I can do. Um, this is what I'm wearing. Oh wait, there's literally a pot in the way. Hold up. I have on my Air Maxes, literally a white t-shirt, my favorite barrel jeans from Free People and my orange Air Maxes. And then I have on like all of my jewelry. I have on this vintage watch and then this bracelet that I don't know where I got it, but I think it might've been my grandma's. And then have on my usual necklace and then this other necklace that was my grandma's that I really love. And then just these L earrings from Free People. And then these earrings, which I feel like came in a set from H&M, which is so random because I don't even know the last time I've been in an H&M, but I found them recently and I'm like kind of obsessed with them. Um, but yeah, let's go apple picking. I'm so excited. I have a bunch of like recipes planned that I want to make, but I saw these like apple custard bars things on Pinterest. And I think that might be the winner because I really like apples, but I feel like sometimes apple recipes are just like too sweet for my taste. So I think this is going to be it. It's going to be the moment. And yeah. Oh, it's recording. Oh, this is so fun. I can't see the screen. You can't reach it? What about that one right there? You see it in the distance right there? Here. Is that going to be heavy yet? Okay. These are so fun. <laughs> this feels like a home video it does i don't even know if i hit the right button the first button i think was recording and then <laughs> perfect Damn. <laughs> my kitchen because this place gets the best sunlight and I also just truly love it in here and I don't know I feel like it's like a very good background for filming but I have some Earl Grey tea I was just like not in the mood to make a matcha this morning and then I was all out of frozen fruit and all my smoothie ingredients so it was this and eggs with some green onion infused olive oil on them which was quite delicious I feel like I'm gonna get tired of eggs once again but it's good while it lasts I wanted to show you a couple of makeup products that I've been wearing all the time because I'm obsessed I feel like I find myself wearing less and less makeup and I love that because it's so much easier to get ready and so much faster to get ready and also like just that just like feels really good as somebody who used to wear a full face of makeup all the time, no matter where we went, like we could be going to CVS to pick up like a prescription or a toothpaste and I would have to put on a full face of makeup. So to now be at a point where I'm barely wearing anything, like you'll see it, there's literally like five products, um, four usually. 
uh, I just feel like it's really good. So the first is, and I got these like mini ones on my birthday, but I'm definitely repurchasing the bigger size. Um, but the first is the Say, this is like their, what do they call it? Glowy Super Gel in Star Glow. And I put this all over my face as like my base. And then usually I'll put the bubble tinted SPF on top of it. Forgot today and then I applied my blush and I was like, I don't have energy to go back. So it's usually this plus a tinted SPF, which I feel like gives me a really good base that looks super natural, but still gives me some coverage and like still like looks like I'm put some effort into my appearance in some ways. Not that if you don't wear makeup, you don't look like you put an effort in, but I don't know. Anyway, um, and then I, again, little sample I got for my birthday, but this is their Limitless Lash Mascara. I'm obsessed. Um, I don't know. Oh wait, that's actually good lighting to show you. Yeah, I just feel like it's so good. And I have like very like medium length, but thick lashes. And I find that sometimes other mascara can make it like clumpy and it will like get a lot of it at the base, but then it won't really go out to the ends of my lashes. And this brush here, I'll show you. Can we see this? This brush is just perfect. So yeah, love that. And then for blush, I mean, this is kind of repetitive, but the Ilia, this is their like blush stick or multi stick in At Last. It's a very pretty like rosy pink. And I'm not usually, or recently, haven't been like a rosy pink blush fan. I've been really going hard for like a peach blush. And I feel like it's like very summery, but I have the one from Rare Beauty. I'm pretty sure it's a shade Happy and that thing leaks everywhere. Like I literally can't stand to use it because it just, it gets all over my makeup bag, it gets all over my hands, it gets all over all my other products. And so this one's like literally even stained with that blush. And so anyway, I really love this. I know you can also use it on like your lips. I haven't done that yet because I normally put this like right on my cheeks and like I don't know, I don't really like want to then put it on my lips, but anyway, and sometimes like I'll apply a little bit on my nose and a little bit on my forehead. And then for lips, this is a combo I have on today, but my favorite makeup product is lip gloss, which is so funny because when I was wearing like way more makeup years ago, I would never wear a lip gloss. I was such like a matte lipstick person. And I feel like that might come back for winter, but I don't have any that like I love right now or even something that's like semi-matte or demi-matte, whichever. Um, I don't know, anyway. Um, this is a Charlotte Tilbury lip cheat, uh, lip liner and pillow talk, like an OG I feel like for, this hand has just been here like a cloth, but like um, for everybody, it matches my natural lip color really well. And I don't usually fill in my whole lip, like I just, line which like obviously it's a lip liner but like I literally just do like a little bit of line like right under my bottom lip and then my cupid's bow and like slightly on the sides but I don't even line my whole lip I just kind of give it a little bit of dimension and then this is a lip gloss I'm wearing today I will do a full like lip gloss haul later in the video on another day when I have like my purse because I was gonna do a little like what's in my bag type video because I just got a new purse and I'm obsessed with it and it fits so much more stuff. So I feel like I can do a what's in my bag video, but this is the NARS lip gloss in lover to lover. And it's just like, I think you can see it in the light. Wait, hold up. It's just like a really pretty, Ooh, wait, I feel like that's a good shot. It's a really pretty, um, like pink sparkly gloss and like the glitter in it is also pink, but it doesn't feel like glittery on the lips and it's really comfortable and it wears for a really long time so i'm a huge fan and yeah those are my my current favorites and my current routine and sometimes if i'm going like a little different with my makeup if i want to wear a little bit more makeup um i also love the nude sticks their bronzer and their blush that's like my go-to at the moment and i've been using a flesh beauty highlighter that i've had for literally years um but when i've been wearing the ilia or no wait this is say oh my gosh the say glowy super gel i have found that i don't really 
need to then put highlighter on, which I really like because I think for whatever reason, sometimes when I put highlighter on and maybe it's just I'm not using the right one, but it emphasizes my skin texture a lot and it emphasizes the fact that like I'm wearing makeup when I want to go for the look of like no makeup makeup. So, you know, whatever. But yeah, that's that's that. Um, would love to know your favorites. Let me know. I... I'm just like so excited about like this very like simple makeup, but yeah. Making dinner right now, I am making this like sweet Italian pepper and onion and celery and like also maybe mint and sausage roast situation. I found this recipe that uses like tomato sauce and I don't even know. It just sounds like a random recipe. Um, I'm showing this one on youtube because i'm not going to film it for social media because i still feel weird about showing like meat things because i have incorporated quite a bit of it back into my diet just because my partner eats it on a regular basis and it's hard to cook everything like plant-based for him and then like maybe he adds meat in even though it could be totally doable um but i also found like i think it's helping with my energy levels and i don't know i'm just like kind of letting my body do what I want to do, I do have like a very big like pit in my heart and my stomach every time that I eat it because um, the environmental and like animal lover aspect of me still has a really difficult time. So I don't know how long this era is going to last, um, but I'm eating all the recipes that I haven't eaten and actually I had somebody DM me and they were like, saw you were kind of eating meat again. How have you gotten back into it? And really, I've just found recipes that have meat in them that really sound good, like from cookbooks or online or stuff I've had saved for a really long time, but I haven't made. And now I'm trying to make them with these items. So this sausage we got at the farmer's market, I feel good about using it. And I'm really excited to use all these other ingredients. So yeah, I don't know. It'll be an interesting journey. Um, still kind of figuring a lot of it out of like what feels good but i have like moved away from a lot of the stricter um things i had on my diet like being gluten-free and dairy-free all the time i still really don't eat a lot of dairy outside of cheese um i just i couldn't stay away uh and gluten i try to avoid as much as possible but i haven't seen too many differences in my health and i don't think it's worth to restrict if you don't have to restrict so that's kind of where I am now. So I'll show you dinner when I'm done. Just got done filming this spicy pickle margarita. It turned out so good. This is my first time ever filming like a cocktail recipe and I felt a little frazzled. Usually when I'm like filming recipes and cooking, I kind of just wing it like there isn't a big plan but i kind of felt like this should be like more perfect and planned and stuff like that so i'm hoping the video turned out good i haven't looked at the footage yet but this is delicious i half measured um because i didn't realize these shot glasses that i have and maybe this goes to show how much i don't make cocktails but they're one and two thirds measurements and everything in the recipe that i had written was calling for one ounce or like half an ounce or one and a half ounces so anyway, but this is so good. It tastes like a margarita, but just a little like fun and pickly. I honestly think I would add more spiciness, which I blinked. Probably would add more spiciness to it, but I think this is very good. I'm a big fan. It is currently, wait, what time is it? Is there no clock on this thing? It's three o'clock, so I don't think I'm going to drink this whole thing yet, but I'm gonna put it in the fridge so that my boyfriend can try it when he gets home, because I feel like he'll be a fan. But I love this, I'm very excited. This will be very good later. Now I'm gonna make a Bloody Mary. Here she is. I've never had a Bloody Mary before. I just tried it on camera when I was recording this for the first time, and I might've put a little too much vodka in it, but it's not gonna matter. I ended up using a smaller glass than I thought I was going to, so I had to change the measurements up and I kind of did it on the fly. And I feel like I should have put a little less vodka. But I'm gonna put this again in the fridge because I'm 
not drinking another cocktail. Well, I put the other one in the fridge, but I'm not drinking at like 3 p.m., 4 p.m. in the afternoon. Um, but there's just Tito's vodka in here and then this Bloody Mary mix, which is quite good. I honestly kind of wish I got their spicier version. Maybe I'm just doing a spicy kick. Uh, but I garnished it with like lots of dill. I actually like wrapped the rim of, or not rim, the interior of the glass in dill. And then we have like our, our OG celery stock. And then I put some slices. Can you see that? Some slices of cheddar cheese. Cause it, it just felt like it needed something that was not like a vegetable or like pickled. And then we have a little pickle wedge on the side, which I just feel like is very cute, but yeah, I feel like this needs like a little bit of a stir again. <laughs> um, I've been scared of Bloody Marys, but I feel like this isn't bad. I'm gonna eat this piece of cheese with it. There's vodka in there, all right. No, it's good though. I can see why people like this. It doesn't really taste like tomato. Okay, let me chew. It doesn't really taste like tomato. I probably should have put a little less vodka for my taste. I feel like, I mean, this is like what it's supposed to taste like. I just personally don't really like vodka. So it's a little difficult, but I don't know. I would, I would rate this an 8 out of 10. I would probably order one out somewhere if I went out for brunch because I'm a fiend for brunch and I love a new drink. It's funny, my dad orders Bloody Mary's my mom orders mimosas and I usually just drink a matcha. Uh, yeah, but this cheese is really good. I feel like, oh God, I feel like a blue cheese stuffed olive would have been really good. What it would have been even better is a garlic and jalapeno stuffed olives from Trader Joe's with this. That would have been good, but Oh, wow, I wasn't thinking. This wasn't even one of the recipes I was planning on making, but I had so much fun making the margarita. And I was like, it's only three, like 30 when I started. Might as well. And I brought to put the dill in the other one and I bought dill for the last drink. So I was like, let me just make this real quick. But this is making me feel healthy even though there's a shot of vodka in it. Um, I probably could put some like lime juice in it too. Alas, here we are. I think I'm gonna go make pickle soup. I'm very excited about this one. Okay, so when I was asking Instagram, like what you guys wanted to see on YouTube, somebody said, actually not somebody, my friend TJ said, like books and like what I'm reading and just like favorite books at the moment and stuff like that. So I'm going to go through that. I feel like this is a cute way to end out this vlog. I'm drinking tea. This is just Earl Grey tea. I'm like in a tea kick again. I feel like in college I drank tea every single night and then I just kind of stopped. I don't really know why, but now I'm back on it because I just love a, love a mug of tea. Also, Alexa, my boyfriend's sister, got this for me for my birthday, and I'm obsessed because it's my favorite color. It's also like a really big mug, so I just, I feel like it's perfect. But anyway, this is my bookshelf. Some of these books were left here when we moved in, so we inherited probably like 95% of them, but I also put some of my favorite books on the shelf, so I'm going to show you those. I, I just love this bookshelf. It's just perfect, but these are books that I've read recently, and... I thought it'd be fun here. I'll turn them so you can see the spines. I feel like we just like talk through them real quick. So first one I read is this book, Paradise Rot by Jenny Haval. I think that's how you say her last name. This was a really interesting book because I had no idea. So I bought this one at a local like, um, like maker's market. And it, it's from this person who always has like a bunch of queer and um BIPOC like books and like books about those topics and like featuring those characters and so this didn't have like a super long description but basically it's like about this girl who she's in a new country and she's going to university and she like 
ends up meeting this person and is living with them and it's just kind of about this like queer fantasy of them living together and it's so interesting because it's called paradise rot and it very much like starts out as kind of this like fantasy this like very much paradise and then it doesn't like go bad but it just kind of starts rotting away in like multiple different ways and while it was like a really odd read i really did enjoy it it's also very short so i think i finished this in like two days and i really enjoyed it it made me think a lot about my environment and my relations to people so i really like this um next one i got this at pals in portland um and i was like on a short story kick i'm still on a short story kick i don't know what i'm talking about but the cover of this caught my attention it's called no one belongs here more than news stories by miranda july i loved this this is like one of my favorite books i read recently honestly i would read it again it's just obviously all these short stories and they just like i don't know they bring together like these really insignificant moments that may not seem like a lot when they happen and turns them into full stories and i just loved it because i'm somebody that loves the little moments in life and that's like my like favorite thing and so like reading a whole book where those things were being magnified was just so good and again pretty short read I really enjoy short, short stories because I can read like one or two before bed and then that's good sometimes I feel like when I'm reading a novel it's hard for me to then like go to sleep because I just want to keep reading so this was like I felt like a good before bed book but loved this my next this is probably my current all-time favorite book which is Supper Club by Laura Williams. I have made everybody in my life read this book. I love it so much. I feel like it just, I don't, I feel like it speaks to me as such like a, I don't even know, stereotypical thing to say, but it really does speak to me when I read it. I was like, I feel like this is my life and I feel like I'm the character. And I, when I first read this, it was around the same time that I started hosting Supper Clubs. So it felt very like on brand and yeah it's just about this girl she's again in university and she's just navigating life and relationships especially friendships um but like romantic relationships also come up but she's wrote like oh my gosh can i talk she's navigating her relationships and has these like very extravagant supper clubs but not extravagant in like money but like extravagant in like all the food and celebration and stuff like that and the supper clubs kind of end up mirroring how her life is going and I just thought it was like such a beautiful look at friendship and your 20s and how lonely and lively things can feel at the same time I just cannot say enough good things about this book this is one of my favorite books ever and the last one I want to talk about I also got this at pals at the same time I got no one belongs to more than you this is called kudos it's by Rachel Cusk and this is again a collection or I think this is a collection of short stories wait maybe it's not why am I blanking on what this is no this is not a collection of short stories this is part of a trilogy I wish to forget um it's part of a trilogy and It's just like a woman who, I'll read you what it says because I'm not going to give you a good description because it's been a minute since I read this one. But basically, a woman on a plane listens to the stranger in the seat next to her is telling the story of his life, his work, his marriage, and the harrowing night he had just spent burying the family dog. The woman is Faye, who is now on her way to Europe to promote the book she has just published. Once she reaches her destination, the conversation she has with the people she meets about art, family, politics, love, and sorrow and joy and justice and injustice constitute the most far-reaching questions human beings ask. It was just such a great look at the human existence. And I think that's like something that you can tell is clearly a theme in the books I'm looking at is books that just like show human life and just like show all the idiosyncrasies of human life. And I love this book so much. I need to get the two other books in the trilogy. This just like, I don't know, all these books like warm my soul because I think, you know, whenever I'm stressed, I feel like I'm the only one that's going through something. And when I read a book that shows like everybody's human existence is like just as stressful or like, you know, just as up and down and has like these weird moments as anyone else's. It's so nice to hear. And so, yeah, I really love this book. I really love all these books. 
I will put the names in the show notes in case there were any that you wanted to read and if you read any of them let me know and I always have really wanted to do a book club and it just hasn't happened yet well I've like kind of tried to do it but I feel like I didn't really catch on but I would love to do that so let me know and I will start it but yeah thanks for tuning into this vlog I'm really excited to vlog again I took a little break during like the whole moving thing and I feel like I also kind of need to figure out like what I wanted the vlogs to be but yeah this one's a little bit long I'm playing around with it let me know if you like longer shorter whatever but I do love longer format content so yeah cheers and I will catch you next week with a new vlog